It's man lipstick <laughs> on my mustache. Yeah, I had a big mustache. So it's just 200 meters from the boat. UV index is 16. I didn't think it could go over 12. <laughs> See why we are in the bay center of the coral triangle. We're going to the resort tonight for dinner. We're going to Komodo. Huh? Even in paradise, it's okay not to be in the right mental space to fully appreciate it. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're still here in the beautiful Triton Bay in Indonesia. Last week, we had the incredible experience of doing two amazing dives. But to be honest, our exploration isn't going as smoothly as we'd hoped. We are trying to uncover as much as we can around us, but it's kind of hard to fully appreciate it when our minds are preoccupied with so many issues. Some of you already know from our previous episodes, but our autopilot has failed and we've now come to the conclusion that fixing it here in Indonesia isn't going to be possible. We need further testing and we need replacement parts that we simply can't get shipped here. So if there was any doubt, this has confirmed our need to head back to Australia, but we are facing the challenge of making the passage during cyclone season and the window to get back is closing quickly because the trade winds will start soon and they will make this journey impossible with the wind against us. As if this wasn't enough, adding to our stress, Australia isn't granting us a visa. For some obscure reason, they want us to undergo medical testing for a tourist visa, which we can't possibly do here or within the time frame that we have before we need to start crossing. So we've ended this issue over to an agent but who knows if they'll be able to secure a visa in time. We would really need our luck to turn around, but despite this problem, I promise you we're not losing sight of how fortunate we are to be living this dream. Sometimes though, it's hard to appreciate everything when there's so much weighing on your mental health. But thanks for sticking with us through these challenges and let's dive back into our adventure and see what Triton Bay has in store for us while we wait for hopefully this visa issue to be sorted. <laughs> Are you putting on some lipstick? It's men lipstick. <laughs> Ichiban, lipstick for men. I am on my beard, Vaseline. It's uh, so my mask comes here on my mustache. Yeah, I had a big mustache. <laughs> on my mustache. <laughs> on my stash <laughs> and then the water can't come in. I mean, it still comes in, but not as much as if I don't put it, so yeah. So what's the destination today? Destination is here. <laughs> so it's just 200 meters from the boat. Okay, we're just gonna jump in straight away from the back, snorkel in. We're gonna go around the small rocks, have a look and see if it's beautiful or not. I'm a bit excited. I'm ready. If I put it, we go in the water. I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. No, I am waiting for you. Jump. Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> In the right. water, I meant! Oh, I didn't get it.
it's almost dark but uh, we are getting ready because we're going to the resort tonight for dinner for once a bit of a change someone else is cooking what more can we ask for yeah i'm too tired of cooking again and again <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Are you ready, mister? Yeah, just we've put some uh, repulsive for the insects, but we're gonna put our feet in the in the water. Yeah, that's why there's also one in the dinghy. Good call, good call. Good call. All right, let's go. can smell food. Dinner was amazing, although we didn't film it to respect the privacy of the guests. But it was a nice break from boat life and a pleasure to share a meal with people from all over the world. Here's one of the moments that I hate the most on a boat. It's pitch black outside, it's raining like crazy, and we hear thunder. There's been a lot of lightning earlier. It's a bit scary because if a lightning hits, it's gonna hit us for sure. Because we are like a we have a big mast and oh my god, I'm so scared. Like in a house, like regular land, I don't like thunder. I can't even tell you on a boat. It's like, I hate it. I need this moment to pass as quickly as possible. Please, thank you. Eventually it did, but it wasn't a fun night. Thankfully the next day is looking so much better. We are getting ready to go and snorkel. The only thing is um, we're just putting some uh, sunblock because uh, the UV index is 16. <laughs> I didn't think it could go over 12. Yeah, me neither. So yeah, when we saw 16, we're like, okay, maybe we need some protection. I think we are going a little bit further. We're going to Komodo. Huh? Yeah, little Komodo is called. Shouldn't be any swell, so should be all right. It's supposed to be a dive site and we're gonna snorkel and free dive. So hopefully it's not too deep. gonna get lunch but uh, yeah it was a cool dive site so the we actually did two sort of so we started by one that's called the aquarium and it was really really good like the coral is beautiful there was a lot of fish a lot of bait balls so that was quite fun to go through after that we moved on to the second one which is little komodo but we actually didn't do much because it was just too deep for a free dive especially towards the end of our session it looks good but we gave up and uh, came back so maybe we need to do little komodo with the tanks we'll see other than that i mean i can see why 
we are in the very center of the coral triangle because the coral here is breathtaking. There's so much different shapes and colors, soft coral, hard corals, quite cool to see. But also after coming from Rajampat, no, it's not as good. <laughs> it's really good, but it's not as good. So if you have to make a choice between the two, I would stick to Rajampat, honestly. Is there a waterfall there? I don't know. I can't even see what it is. Maybe there's a whale shark. I have no idea what the sound they're making. It sounds like a waterfall. Should I jump in? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Can't imagine what, under. what it is to be under. There must be like all the bait fish, all the, the decent sized fish, all the massive fish, maybe dolphins. We have indeed seen a lot of dolphins around here, but we will never know why the bait fish were jumping like crazy tonight. What are you smiling about? We just got the visa granted. So yeah. now we can actually put our minds into planning that passage because it's going to be a hard passage. No autopilot, hand steering the whole way. It's going to be tough. It's cyclone season. The winds are not going to be with us all the time. So now we can put our minds into planning, but I'm very, very happy because at least now it depends on us. Because when you depend on the government and those guys, it's not in your hands. You can't do anything. So now let's plan. So what are we doing to celebrate? Let's do cocktails, I think. What do you think? Yeah, cocktails. As long as you make them. I'll make them. Wait, babe. We don't have any ice and uh, nothing is actually in the fridge. What are you taking? What are you going to do with this? That's not cocktail. I mean, we didn't defrost the fridge. So I'm going to use that. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Well, that's my idea. That's perfect. That's ice. Well, I was going to say it's a really bad idea. But actually, if we don't do it, everything I have in the freezer is stuck, so... <laughs> Get me a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> First ice. <laughs> ice cube, but it's not a cube. Hey, ice cube, homemade. <laughs> that one's gonna be tricky. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this. Quickly, it's gonna melt quickly. So, <laughs> let's use that. Where's my cocktail? It's done. All right, let's go and drink that. What are we having? Marito! Yay! It's a big ice! <laughs> Hi, cocktail time is starting. Cheers. Good? Yeah, that's really good. I like it. I've got to say we were watching a show and I saw the email pop up. Could only see Australian government. You and didn't I was, know what it was about. I was like, we better read that. And even when you open the email, so there's no information in the email per se. Like they're sending you an email with an attachment letter and all of the information is on the letter. So it takes like a good third second to open everything. And the whole time you're like, what is this about? What is this about? It's very stressful. The agent has been very useful. I've got to say we could not have done it without him. Exciting but also kind of stressed because obviously now the difficult part starts yeah um, hand steering yeah cyclone season and the wind is with us but not with us so like it's not all the time in the same direction we yeah. are not sure about that so we have to be very selective on the weather window we're gonna pick it's gonna be a longer passage than the first one first we can't carry enough fuel to get us from indonesia to australia we're gonna need to sail a little bit. It's not going to be easy and also the fact that once we reach Thursday Island it's not at all the end of the journey. No. It just means that we can stop for a few days and at sleep. At least we can stop. The end goal is Cairns. When we reach Thursday Island at least we're gonna be safe. 
In worst case scenario, we can fly people to help us to handle the boat with us. We can fly maybe an expert to look at the autopilot. We can we can do stuff once we are in Australia. Yeah. So first step, it's Thursday Island, and that's the big one. Yeah, at least at least we, we have can, the visa. Exactly. At least Cheers. we can start there. Another one. I'm very happy. I have to say. It's really cold. <laughs> yeah, because you had a nice big like this in your glass. With our visa granted, we are now starting to plan our passage toward Australia. Even though there were still some dives we wanted to do around here, we've decided to leave for Tyrol straight away. I sometimes worry about being honest on this channel, as it might make us sound like spoiled little children complaining about problems that are not a big deal. But the reality is we are constantly navigating on the edges of our comfort zone, and right now we are so far out of it, we can't even see where it is. The uncertainty of not knowing where we will be next month, the exhaustion of having to hands here everywhere, and the stress and apprehension of knowing we will have to do it for thousands of miles is not easy to cope with. And it takes courage to acknowledge that even in paradise, it's okay not to be in the right mental space to fully appreciate it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's okay to feel overwhelmed even when you're living a dream life. It's important to recognize that being in the right mental space matters just as much as the beauty around us and right now we are not so we won't force it and just move on there's a famous quote that i love that says the right thing at the wrong time is the wrong thing i think it says it all we are embracing this journey with all of its ups and downs and we are grateful for your support as we navigate these challenges stay tuned as we prepare for our next adventure toward australia